Hi guys, welcome to another FS Weight Vortex video. Um, today we're going to talk about landing with high winds. Um, I see a lot of it online and I see a lot of uh, incorrect procedures, so hopefully we can just talk about it today and correct a few things. So we're on the approach to Copenhagen, and as you can see with the meta on the screen, uh, the wind is 235 at 25, gusting 30. So what we need to do here, if we're flying manually with the auto throttle off, we need to add one half of the steady reported headwind um, and the full gust increment above the reported steady headwind. So as you can see there, 235 at 25, gusting 30. So basically, if that was a direct headwind, we would need to half 25, which we'll call 12, plus 5, which is the difference between the two. Um, so if our VREF, as you can see here, is uh, 143, then we need to add 16 knots to that, which will give us 159 as the target VREF. Now, a case in point here, if we land with auto throttle on, in auto land configuration, we would only ever have to add VREF plus 5, and that goes the same for flying the 777 as well. If you are using the auto throttle, you keep the VREF plus 5 technique. This is when you have the auto throttle disengaged with manual flight. So the maximum speed that you will ever go using this technique is VREF plus 20. You cannot go above VREF plus 20 or uh, the landing placard speed minus 5. And you'll see that come down when we select flaps 30. Basically this technique provides sufficient low speed maneuver capability and reduces the possibility of flap relief. Now. You need to be careful here because when it's gusty and bubbling up and down, you'll get quite close to the uh, flat our speed here. So we'll select flaps 30 now and use our target VRF of 159. On the landing technique itself, which we'll talk about when we get down there, you want to, as you flare or as you approach the threshold, you need to bleed off the speed that you've used for the steady headwind component but you keep on the gust correction speed so our five knots needs to stay there um, for touchdown um, so obviously when you are flaring you try and touch down at VREF but because we have gusts we need to take away the um, you see here as the aircraft's bubbling on auto throttle it's a good example our flaps have automatically gone down to 25 so what we'll do now is we'll disengage the auto throttle and take out the autopilot. Without selecting anything you'll see here that flaps go back to 30 automatically. So we'll maintain 159 with the uh, manual flights all the way down and we'll start reducing the 11 knots that we've added on uh, or 12 knots that we've added on um, as we flare but we try and aim for VREF plus 5 for the, for the touchdown. And that's basically, this is, all, this is all down to, if you imagine if you're flying plus 5 and you all of a sudden lose all of your headwind, then you're going to go way below VREF and you're going to basically either stall if it's severe or you'll have to have a go around. So we'll, main, uh, we'll maintain the 159 as best we can. As you saw there, the sim's not very good at keeping the auto throttle uh, in when it's really gusty. So, manual flight is often a good way in flight sim to uh, take control of your speed. So, as you can see here, the speed is bubbling all over the place. It's very gusty. Now, in this case, have an eye on the uh, the ground speed here, and also your headwind. See what it's doing. You want to make sure that your ground speed is not bleeding off significantly when you're bubbling up and down. Anyway. Just keep an eye on your speed. See we're a little bit high so we're going to reduce slightly on the speed. Back to about 160 if we can. 159. So minimums for stable, land, we're good speed, 
So now, Ish, you want to start bleeding off your speed a little bit, so I reduce the thrust. 30, 20, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there you have it. 